Let's work on the concept of substitution and income effect, and we'll do so on a graph. So first of all, the highlight. What's the intuition of a substitution and income effect? The idea is that any change in quantity demanded due to a change in price can be explained by two reasons. So let's first write that. A change in quantity demanded because a price of a certain good went up is because of substitution effect and income effect. I'm going to show both on a graph. So what is a substitution effect? It literally has to deal with substitution, meaning that that would be the change in quantity demanded because we change to another good while keeping us equally happy. So we have to keep this in mind that a criteria for the substitution effect is that we will trade off the quantity of a specific good because its price is higher for the other good, but we will keep the same utility. Now, how do we do that? Let's work with this example that I prepared over here. So let's say we're dealing with bananas. So we have quantity of bananas demanded and we have money. And usually on this axis, we also show the other goods. So basically everything that we can spend the money besides bananas. So let's call this other goods. Now we have 50 euros as an income. The money that we have is 50 euros to spend. And the price of the bananas initially over here for this demand is two euros. Now these are our intercepts. If we do not spend anything on bananas, we can spend 50 euros on other goods. And on the other side, if we do not spend anything on the other goods, we can spend money on 25 bananas. I hope this makes sense. This would be the uh, optimal point. So let's assume this would be our optimal point and we can draw an indifference curve because recall that we can find different combinations that give us the same utility. So in our case, our optimal point would be the combination that is also affordable because it's on the budget line and the budget line by definition means that it satisfies our budget. So we want this consumption and on this consumption we have 15 bananas and 20 other goods. That's what we have. Now let's suppose that the price of the bananas went up to 4 euros now. So let's say the new price of the bananas and let me write it over here because we will need that space to draw on the graph. The price of the bananas went up and it's now equal to 4 euros. So the maximum amount of bananas that we can buy is 50 divided by 4. And that is uh, 50 divided by 4, 12.5. So the intercept, the intercept on the quantity of bananas axis would be 12.5. And let's say that would be, it's not going to be very accurate, but anyway, 12.5, maybe something like that. Now the intercept here is still 50 because we can still spend all the money on, uh, of 50 euros on other goods. So if we connect this points, so over here, that would be, that would be the demand for bananas when the price equals to 4. And let's suppose now that the quantity demanded over here, uh, let's change colors, the quantity demanded over here, the optimal bundle, the optimal bundle, let's say it would be something like that. And let's draw here an indifference curve. I don't want to draw too much because they're going to overlap, so I'm trying to keep it uh, clean. Uh, and let's say we would have we would have at the optimal point 11 bananas and then over here 11 times 4 we would spend 44 euros on bananas and we would be left with 6 euros 6 euros for other goods so it makes sense we are spending our our uh, you know our budget our money what is the substitution effect recall the substitution effect is the change in quantity demanded because we can switch to the other goods while keeping us while keeping us equally happy so we keep the utility the same and we go from some bananas in exchange for some other goods that's what we're doing now to go to go to other goods we need to have the same utility and this is our new budget line which means that we would like to touch this budget line to our old utility level to our happiness that we are used to 
with the initial point, with the initial price level. And how would we do that? Well, we would basically shift the budget line to the right until it touches the new, sorry, not the new, but until it touches our indifference curve. And um, I'm, I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying to do it accurately, something like that. Suppose this is a parallel shift. So if the budget line goes over here, we would have, we would have, let's say this tangent point, let's assume this is the optimal point. So if we are on this optimal point, we would have the same utility level. Now let's give an example. How many bananas would we have there? Well, we would have, let's say 12, let's say 12 bananas. It's less than 12.5. It's a bit more than 11. So this was 11 and we would have how much money left? Uh, uh, yeah, of course the intercept would be different as well. Let's give also a hypothetical example here. Uh, 12 times four, it would be 48 euros spent on bananas. And let's say in total, maybe we would have, maybe we would have necessary, um, yeah, let's say uh, 60 euros. Let's say this would be 60 euros. So here we would be left with probably 45. This is all hypothetical. Don't get too caught up in the numbers. Just understand the intuition is that the change from the blue point, which was our original optimal to this new optimal that we would have if we do have the 60 euros is our substitution effect. And the reason is because we are changing bananas for other goods. We're giving up from look 15 bananas we're going all the way to 12. So we're exchanging, we're giving up three bananas, 15. It changes to 12 bananas only in exchange for some more of other goods, because we used to have 20 euros for other goods. Now we have 45 euros for other goods. So we're basically trading three bananas for 25 euros for other goods. That's what we're doing while keeping our same utility. That's what this substitution effect would be. It would be the change in quantity if we were able to keep our same utility. Hope this makes sense. Now we went from 15 until 12 units. So a decrease in three units of quantity demanded. And the other change over here and the other change from 12 to 11, because that's our final point. Remember, that's what's happening in reality. That final unit change is our income effect. That is the remaining effect because we just have less money because bananas are more expensive because our purchasing power is less. The capacity to buy bananas is less and that's why we are making the change. And again, it's in two steps. Once because we want to exchange for the other goods and the other one is because they are actually more expensive. Hope this makes sense and we are done.